Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to my channel, Lazy Creek Homestead, where I hope to be an encouragement to you. On the homestead, in the kitchen, mom life, a little bit in between, because you never know the love and chaos you'll find here on Lazy Creek Homestead. In today's video, I'm going to share with you our weekly grocery haul, and then I'm going to share with you how we use up some of those groceries. How this busy working homestead and mama gets dinner on the table quick and easy on those nights where I just really don't feel like cooking. And I'm going to show you how I get a little help with some Nors sides. I just love Nors. They have all kinds of different rice and noodle sides. And they really help get a nice wholesome meal on the table. So let me show you our grocery haul and then join me in the kitchen where we get dinner done. All right, this is this week's grocery haul. Kind of small. We got some southern style breaded chicken from Walmart, some pepperoni. We got a lot of chicken breast and tenders in our last grocery haul. So we're going to do Italian chicken, some Caesar salad. And these are to just get dinner on the table this week. It's a crazy week. Also, going to do a creamy broccoli chicken bake and probably. A stir fry with these noodles. These buns are for our frozen chicken patties. Got some whipped cream and two gallons of milk. And that's it. Here's a small grocery haul from Mark Basket. It's a small grocery store around New England. I know there's some in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. I'm not sure if there's any in Maine. We got some tater tots because we're going to try some tater tot casserole this week. Mixed veggies for a couple different meals. Broccoli. We got shredded mozzarella. Teriyaki. Some sharp cheddar and Colby Jack cheese. I love to check out the reduce rack and I want to make some taco soup this week. So we got beans and sauce. And I'm all out of chicken stock, and this was on the reduce rack, so I got four of those. And we got four of these waters. New purse from the thrift store. And hay. Alright, tonight this mama wants another quick, easy dinner. We're boiling some chicken here. And then we're going to use the water from our chicken and we're going to make this rice. And then we're going to add it all back into the pot with some broccoli and cheddar cheese and mix it all together in one pot meal tonight. All right, our chicken is boiled and this calls for two cups of water. So I am doing two packages for our family. So I saved four cups of the water that the chicken boiled in just for a little bit more flavor. And now I'm going to drain this chicken and set it aside. So we're just adding the water that we took out of the chicken back into the pan. And I'm okay with all those little chicken bits floating around in there. And then um, we're going to add our rice packet and some margarine. And we're going to let that come to a boil. And I'm going to actually add my broccoli in here. Because I like soft broccoli. And um, we're going to let all that boil. And we're going to shred the chicken. Alright, so we got our rice. And our broccoli and our water. And we're going to stir that all up. And bring it to a boil. And the package says to let it simmer. So our rice and broccoli is in here and the directions say bring it to a boil and then to let it simmer covered for seven minutes. So that's what we'll do and then we'll add our chicken um, back in and some cheese on top. Now that our rice and broccoli has simmered and our rice is tender, I am going to add our shredded chicken back in. And then I'm going to add in some shredded cheese and then I'm just going to mix it all up. And it's going to be a quick, easy one pot dinner. Mm 
We have it all stirred together. And we're going to plate it up and we are going to enjoy this creamy chicken rice one pot meal. Mmm, and that's what's dinner tonight. It's delicious, satisfying. Hope you all can give it a try. We got a couple of chicken breasts and we're going to cube them up and get them in the frying pan. All right, we have our diced up chicken starting to fry up in our pan. We're going to season it with garlic, uh, pepper, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. All right, our chicken's about halfway cooked or so. I added in couple swirls, about maybe a good tablespoon of this teriyaki sauce. And I'm going to so we'll get a nice easy quick dinner. We're going to add these noodles to it and make a kind of like a chicken teriyaki stir fry. And this is the water that need for these packages of noodles. So I'm going to pour that in here and kind of let that start to come up to a boil. And then we're going to add in this packet of, actually I'm going to do three because we have a large family. And we're going to let that boil up and we're going to add in our frozen vegetables and that's dinner tonight. All right, I've added in our frozen veggies and this is starting to come to a boil. And we're going to add in our packaged teriyaki noodles. And we're pretty much making them as the directions on the back say. And just have a nice, quick, easy one pot meal. All right, we got our noodles in and it's back up to a boil. So we're gonna turn it down and the directions say to let it simmer for seven minutes and stir occasionally. All right, this has been simmering for a while. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this teriyaki base and glaze to it. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the honey from our honey and fermented garlic. And we're gonna plate this up. And this is our quick and easy chicken stir fry. This has a nice, good flavor. It's almost, you know, a home cooked meal with a quick, easy spin on it. it. Took about a half hour or so from start to finish. And it is gonna fill our bellies. Thank you so much for watching.